everyone and welcome to your workout today. We are going to do five rounds of this circuit and all you need is a medium kettlebell or a dumbbell. We're going to be doing some swings, squats, deadlifts, burpees, and push-ups. We're going to start off with 12 single arm swings. Again, you could do this with your kettlebell or with your dumbbell. I'll start with my right arm. Remember, feet shoulder width stance. Hike your hips back behind you. And then with one arm, swing your kettlebell in front of you. Same alignment as your regular kettlebell swings. Once you're done with your 12, switch hands at the top. 12 swings on the left. Really use those hips. Lots of core, hip hinge action. When you're done with your 12 swings on the right and 12 on the left, we're going to do 12 sumo goblet squats. So it's a wider stance than your regular goblet squat. And I'm gonna hold my kettlebell here down at the bottom. Squat back or squat down. Open your knees, reach your pinky toes. Hug the inner thighs and squeeze the glutes at the top of the movement, but without thrusting your hips forward. All right, so we squeeze them in, not forward. Notice how my shoulders are staying stacked over my hips in this sumo squat. So again, we have 12 of these. After our squats, then we have our push-ups. So set your kettlebell down. Start in that high plank position. Remember, your elbows are going to shoot back behind you, not out to the side. So you're making a W shape with your arms. Long line from crown to the heels. Take the knees down for support. If that helps you keep your form. After your 12 push-ups, we're gonna grab our kettlebell again for sumo deadlift high pull. So here's where our chest is going to move forward as we find that hip hinge action again. You find that wide stance, I'll show you from the front. Start down on the ground, my butt is back, my chest is forward. Now as I stand, I'm going to do an upright row with the kettlebell. Down, up, down, up. So you're sitting back into a chair here. I'll show you from the side so you can see the difference between a sumo squat and a sumo deadlift. The sumo deadlift, my chest goes forward. I lift it up as I rise. So 12 of those. Now we're going to finish off with just six burpees. We're not doing 12 because I love you. We're doing six burpees. Jump up, sprawl back, hit the ground, come back up. If you want to modify, you don't have to go to the ground. You could do more of a thruster. And if you're pregnant or you're still working up to burpees, you can use a coffee table or an elevated surface. Jump up, hands go on the surface, jump back, add the push-up if you want, and jump up. So there, Woo. that's a less exercise. Start back at the top with your 12 swings on the right, 12 swings on the left, go through the exercises, and have a great